Okay, for this recipe, I'm gonna be using a bag of frozen corn, some Rotel tomatoes, a can of Great Northern beans, a can of um, refried, refried beans, two cans of canned chicken breast. You can use fresh chicken breast, it's up to you. And um, about three cups of chicken broth and a packet of the McCormick's chicken chili um, mix. All right, so now I'm gonna add all my ingredients into my crock pot. I just lined it with a crock pot liner. You don't have to add the ingredients in any order. We're just gonna add everything in there. So we're gonna start with the corn. And then I'm going to add in my, uh, my Rotel tomatoes. I'm going to add in my Great Northern beans. I'm not going to drain them. I'm just going to add it in there, everything in there. I'm going to add in my refried beans. And guys, I just add this to kind of thicken up my chili. So it's actually optional if you want to add the refried beans or not. It's just something that I add to mine to kind of thicken it up. Make it a little more hearty. It comes out a little more soupy sometimes without it. So that's just a trick that I've learned. Now I'm just going to add in my canned chicken. And like I said, if it's your preference, you can just add some chicken breast to this. You don't have to cook them first. They will cook during the cooking process. And then you'll just have to pull them out and shred them up. And I did drain out um, the water from the canned chicken before I added it in there. So we're gonna add in our chili seasoning. And then we're gonna add in our chicken broth. And now I'm just gonna stir it all just to get everything kind of combined. And I'm just adding a little of the broth at a time and getting it stirred up. Just kind of breaking up that, um, the refried beans a little. But I'm going to essentially add about three cups of chicken broth.
and that's all we're going to do guys you can cook this on low for four hours i'm sorry on high for four hours or on low for eight hours just a matter of preference of when you need it to be done and i will come back and show you when it is done all right guys so it's been cooking for about six six and a half hours right now and it's nice and thick for me and hearty it doesn't come out extra thick but it comes out nice and hearty so there you go guys i'm gonna get me a bowl and show you how i serve mine all right guys so there it is my chicken chili and i like to serve mine with some mexican shredded cheese actually i'll use any kind of shredded cheese but um I'm going to be using this kind today and I love to add some crushed red peppers to mine. I like a little spice in mine. So that's totally optional. I don't add any more salt or pepper to it because I feel like it gets enough from the packet. But there you go guys, my chicken chili. So I hope you like this recipe. Don't forget to like this video. Talk to you soon.